Do you drink too much alcohol? If so, you're not alone. In the United States, nearly two-thirds of adults drink alcohol, and one in ten Americans drinks heavily. While moderate drinking can have some health benefits, excessive drinking can lead to serious health problems. If you're looking for ways to stop drinking alcohol, here are ten tips that might help. One, write it down. Making a list of the reasons to curtail your drinking, such as feeling healthier, sleeping better, or improving your relationships can actually motivate you. When you write things down, it makes them more real. It also allows you to keep track of your progress, says Thompson, author of Sober for Good, New Solutions for Drinking Problems. Two, find a support group. There are groups for families and friends of alcoholics, as well as groups for people who are trying to quit drinking. You're not alone in this battle, and you'll get support and practical advice on what has worked for others, says Thompson. Alcoholics Anonymous is one of the most well-known programs. It's based on 12 steps, which include admitting that you're powerless over alcohol, making amends for past mistakes, and helping other alcoholics. Other groups include moderation management and smart recovery. Moderation management is for people who want to cut back on their drinking rather than quit completely. It uses a harm reduction approach and has online and in-person meetings. Smart recovery is based on the idea that you can change your thinking and behaviors to abstain from drinking. Check out the links in the description below for finding a group near you. 3. Counseling Sessions Counseling can help you deal with the underlying issues that may be causing your alcoholism. Most people with drinking problems have other issues they're trying to avoid, such as depression, anxiety, or trauma. Counseling can also help you develop coping and problem-solving skills. It's not just about stopping the drinking, it's about learning how to deal with life in a different way. Drink counseling is a way to help people stop drinking alcohol. It is a type of therapy that helps people understand their drinking habits and why they drink. It also helps people find other ways to cope with their problems without drinking alcohol. 4. Alcohol-Free Days Think about not drinking alcohol for a day or two each week. You might want to try not drinking for a week or a month to see how you physically and emotionally without alcohol in your life. Taking a break from alcohol can be a good way to start drinking less. If you're not sure how to start, try this. Set a goal for yourself, such as no alcohol for one day. Then increase the frequency. Tell your friends and family about your alcohol-free day so they can support you. Remove all alcoholic drinks from your house. 5. Get a hobby. Participating in an activity that you like may assist you in avoiding drinking. Doing something that's creative such as painting or writing can help you express yourself in a positive way. Or try a more active hobby, such as hiking or biking, to release endorphins that naturally boost your mood. When you have something else to focus on, it takes the attention away from drinking. It also gives you a sense of accomplishment and pride, which can be difficult to find when you're struggling with alcoholism. If you're not sure what kind of hobby to try, here are a few ideas. Art, drawing, painting, sculpting, photography. Sports, tennis, running, hiking, biking. Music, playing an instrument, singing, songwriting. Six, exercise. Exercise releases endorphins, which can help improve your mood and make you feel better overall. It can also help reduce stress and anxiety, which may be triggers for drinking people drink to self-medicate. So if you can find other ways to cope with stress and anxiety, that can be helpful, and exercise is a great way to do that. If you're not sure how to get started, try this. Start with 15 minutes of exercise a day. You can do this by going for a walk, jogging, or doing some light weights at home. Gradually increase the amount of time you exercise each week. Find a friend or family member who will exercise with you to make it more fun. 7. Eat healthy. 
A healthy diet will do wonders for your mind and body after you've been drinking. Not only will it help heal the damage caused by alcoholism, but you'll also notice a difference in your mood and energy levels. When you're drinking, you're not eating properly, so your body is lacking essential nutrients, and eating a healthy diet will help replenish those nutrients and give you more energy. If you're not sure where to start, try this. Focus on eating whole foods, such as fruits, vegetables, and lean protein. Avoid processed foods and sugary drinks. Drink plenty of water throughout the day to stay hydrated. Making these changes to your diet may not be easy, but it's worth it for your health. 8. Get more sleep Sleep helps the body repair itself and can also help reduce stress levels. Alcohol can disrupt your sleep, so getting enough rest is important for recovering from alcoholism. When you drink alcohol, it can make it hard for you to sleep. It can keep you from getting deep, restful sleep and will make you feel tired the next day as alcohol disrupts your sleep cycle. This results in making it harder to fall and stay asleep. It also dehydrates your body, which can lead to headaches, dizziness, and fatigue the next day. To help you get a good night's sleep, avoid drinking alcohol for at least four hours before bedtime. 9. Remove triggers If there are certain people, places, or things that make you want to drink, try to avoid them. This may mean avoiding bars, parties, or social events where you know alcohol will be served. It's also important to avoid people who pressure you to drink or who don't support your decision to stay sober. If you have friends who are drinking, it's okay to take a break from them for a while. You don't have to explain your decision to anyone. Just say that you're not drinking. 10. Making a plan Building on the first point, having a plan in place can help you stay on track and stick to your goals. Write down your reasons for wanting to quit drinking and keep them somewhere you can see them. It can also be helpful to have an accountability partner, such as a friend or family member who you can check in with on a regular basis. According to many experts, having someone supportive who will help hold you accountable is integral for long-term success. 10. Talking to someone If you've tried to quit drinking on your own and haven't been successful, it may be time to seek professional help. There are many resources available to you through this process. Talking to someone who understands what you're going through can be very helpful. If you're struggling to quit drinking, consider talking to a therapist or counselor. Many people who struggle with alcohol abuse find it helpful to speak to a therapist. A therapist can help you understand the root causes of your alcohol abuse and give you tools to deal with triggers and cravings. 11. Take action. Making the decision to change and seek help is a brave step, and it can make all the difference in your recovery. There are many ways to overcome alcoholism, and the journey looks different for everyone. The most important thing is to take it one day at a time and never give up on yourself. With the right support, you can achieve anything you set your mind to, but only if you make the decision to take action. What will you do right now to stop drinking? Let us know in the comments below.